good with YouTube? It is your boy Vaughn, and as you guys can see by the title, we are back with a new banger SML reaction video for you guys today. This one just dropped about 10 minutes ago, and it is called SML Movie Jeffy the Lawyer. Now, we already had an episode where Jeffy attacked the judge, and then now in this one, he has become a lawyer, and Jeffy is the last person you want to hire to be on your kind of case. You feel me? No matter what the situation is, we don't want Jeffy as a lawyer because things could go south real fast. But before we get into this though, I am gonna be reacting to old SML content that I cannot react to on YouTube because it gets copyrighted on my Snapchat. So if you guys would like to see some SML content on the Snapchat, the link for that will be in the description down below. Make sure you guys follow me there. And also I do have a gaming channel that I have been posting content on as well. I posted a video yesterday. So if you guys would like to check that out, that will also be in the description. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on. On. that way you do not miss any of the uploads because we've been dropping a lot of bangers man and uh let's check out if jeffy is um an honorable lawyer i get the last oreo no, I get the last <laughs> My parents might be here. I've already heard enough yelling today. I don't care. Right? We don't give it. We want an Oreo. We don't give a damn about no divorce. Well, Jeffy, there's only one Oreo left, and I believe it belongs to. I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't even be debating. I'm gonna take the motherfucking Oreo and eat it. Oreos. Oh my god. Me because it's my house and they're my Oreos. No, it doesn't, dude. I'm the guest. I should get the last Oreo. Joseph is homeless, right? You guys cut in half, and then you each get a piece. Wait, that would be fair. We would both get half the Oreo. <laughs> Just open up that? the Oreo. <laughs> oh, Jeffy, you're a genius. You should be a lawyer. Really? Yeah, you should take the bar exam and become a lawyer. Oh my lawyer. gosh, What's now they reach into the moon right it's now. It's a test that you take to become a lawyer, as previously implied. Okay, I think I'll do that. Yeah, Jeffy, you'll be a really good lawyer. <laughs> All right, Joseph, let's split this Oreo. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Junior said that, like, <laughs> sarcastically. You can't cut it in You can't cut it in threes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome to the Florida State Bar Exam. In order to be a lawyer, you have to pass the bar exam. So I have a bunch of candy bars laid out here in front of you, and you have to smell each one and then correctly identify it. Because there, the there's just no way. Sense of smell. I don't. At least I don't think that you would be able to smell. I don't think I would be able to smell candy bars and be able to tell which is which. Like you have to be able to smell if somebody's guilty or not. Like you smell out a rat. Okay. So let's start with <laughs> this is a horrible test. But also speaking of these candy bars, with all the flavors we see on there, let me know in the comment section down below what's the most banger candy bar. Is it Twix? Is it Butterfingers? Is it Hershey's? Is it Snickers? Is is it kick? Is it Milky Way? Smell that. Her I'm gonna say uh I, I'm, I said kick Kit Kat. I'm gonna say Snickers. This. Snickers. Yeah, mm -hmm. Snickers is goaded. Let's try this one. Twix. Twix is pretty good too though. Butterfinger, not so much. Finger on my butt. Oh no. <laughs> hey yo! I don't like Butterfingers. Let's try this one. Kit Kats are straight. Okay, that's good. Now this one. This one's a hard one. Mm. Wait, what is that? I don't even. I, I have no idea what kind of candy bar that is. It? Well, okay, that's it. You passed the bar exam. Congratulations. <laughs> you are now a lawyer. What? Hey. Brick guy is the worst person to, to, to do this test with, bro. But Jeffy, you're too young to drink. What? No, Jeffy, you can't be a lawyer. There's no way you passed the bar exam. <laughs> well, I did. I smelled all the candy bars and guessed them correctly. Yeah, your son's a lawyer now. But Jeffy's not smart enough to be a lawyer. <laughs> Jeffy about to get to the bag. I've ever met to actually pass the bar exam without even studying. It took me three times. It was that damn whatchamacallit. It just smells like chocolate. <laughs> Jeffy, why would you want to become a lawyer? <laughs> because I want to help people and make a lot of money. Yeah, lawyers get paid. Right. <laughs> no one's going to hire you to be a lawyer, Jeffy. No one's going to trust you. Well, people have actually been blowing up his phone. <laughs> Marvin is so like... <laughs> Marvin pushing everything down. He don't want Jeffy to make more money than him. Someone chewing you? Got a boo-boo? We'll call Babu, 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 Babu. I don't... <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce what the fuck he just said. Bab bab a uh, babu. <laughs> babu bab bab a uh, babu. <laughs> babu, babu, babu. This message was approved by Jeffy. Babu, bap, bap, babu. Babu, bap, bap, and babu. <laughs> That's ridiculous. No one's gonna hire you. All right. We hired him for my restraining order case later today. Actually, you know what, Jeffy? You have a case. Who does Brooklyn have, have a restraining order on? All right, daddy. I'll see you later. Oh, I'm so proud of Jeffy being a big boy lawyer. <laughs> and Marvin don't even order, have a job. Order, order, order. I am the Honorable Judge Poober, and today we will be hearing the case of Jackie Chu, whose <laughs> Chinese restaurant is in danger of being shut down by the health inspector, who claims that he has been cooking cat and dog. 
I knew he was gonna say some shit like that. I was gonna say it too, but I had to let the honorable judge get it out. Food, Mr. Health Inspector. What have you witnessed in his Chinese restaurant? I witnessed them taking cats and dogs out of cages, cooking them, and then serving them as orange chicken. Lord, Steve, Lord, Mr. Chu <laughs> Steve Snellberger is such a snitch, bro. <laughs> These are very serious and gross accusations. What do you have to say about this? I do serve canned dog, but it's delicious. Wow, you just admitted it. Just like that. Okay. Ten well, years of prison. Does your lawyer have anything to say to help you get out of this situation? Yes, Your Honor. My client does serve Kang Dog. But my question to you, have you ever tried it? <laughs> God, no. Cats and dogs are so cute and cuddly. I would right, never. I would never. <laughs> your Honor, there's an old saying. Don't knock it till you try it. And I believe you should try it before you judge. Hmm. You make a good point. I've never tried it. <laughs> the so good old Panda Express. Know what it tastes like. <laughs> Suppose I can have one piece. Ugh. <laughs> this is so dramatic, bro, too. My God, this is the greatest thing I've ever eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chu, you are not guilty. I'm not, not going to lie, though. Panda Express orange chicken do be slapping. It's the Mr. best. And it's the only Chinese that I really... It's American Chinese, to be honest. But I will eat Panda Express over any other place because I can't even eat Chinese food no more. They have too much uh, MSG salt in it, and I think I'm allergic to it. Last two times I had Chinese, I almost had to go to the hospital because of how bad it made me feel. You never, I, I, I never did God. trust what, what, what was in that food, though, to no be honest. <laughs> Steve food. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hear that? Steve Stelberger can no longer inspect food. He got a bag. I won my first case today, day, and he was bing bong as fuck. What, Jeff, you actually won a case? Marvin, he passed his bar exam. Marvin, maybe if you stop sleeping on your son and realize his talent. Let me go ahead and break you off a piece of this bread right here. Give you a few bread come. Cause you know I gotta hook you up cause you my daddy. All right, that's good. Okay, Jeff, you're real nigga. Okay. I am the honorable George Bouvier. And today we will be hearing the case of Brooklyn Guy, who wants to file a restraining order against his brother Jonathan for trying to hook up with his wife. Brooklyn wait, Guy wait, 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 wait. Is he talking about Simmons, Officer Simmons? I didn't know they were brothers. That is that is that who we're talking about here? So my brother Jonathan is a 30 year old virgin who still lives with our mom and he's always hitting on my wife and trying to bang her. Okay, so never I mind. Just want to get a restraining order <laughs> so that he can't come near me or my wife. Very understandable. Jonathan, is any of this true? Well, Brooklyn guy is just. Oh, it's okay. That way, I didn't know that was Brooklyn guy's brother either. Up and down trying to get a glimpse of my meat whistle. Like, damn, lady, I'm a human too. I have feelings. I'm not just a piece of eye candy you get to suck on. See, my client is a victim. It's true. <laughs> oh, bullshit, Your Honor. Jonathan's lying. No woman is attracted to him. Order, order, order. Everybody settle down. Karen, do you feel like you're in danger of Jonathan? Like maybe he's stalking you or trying to do things to you? Well, he does say a lot of weird things. Yes, Your Honor. She feels afraid. <coughs> I see. Well, Jonathan, I have no choice but to grant the restraining order, unless your lawyer would like to say anything about this case. Mm. 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 Hey, Sorry, he's thinking. Your Honor, I got a booger on my nose. It's a deep booger. Come here, booger. Get out of my nose. <laughs> oh, no. He said booger three times. Hey, booger. Oh, shit. Your imaginary friend, booger. Yeah, I know, booger. Go away. I'm in court. Ooh, did you do something? Bad? I didn't know a booger could be hairy. Did you do <laughs> no. Did you bank? No. Did you kill someone? I'm gonna kill you if you don't go away. Oh, come on, booger guy. You don't mean that. Shut the hell up, booger. <laughs> Mr. Guy, who are you talking to? No one, Your Honor. Oh, come on, Brooklyn guy. You don't want to tell him about your best pal, booger? Are you ashamed of me? Yes. Oh, come on. I'm like. I ain't gonna lie, at this point, Brooklyn guy might lose this case because he looks crazy talking to an imaginary friend, right? I said Jeffy probably doesn't even have to do anything. Who's this judge guy? But that's the judge. You want me to go mess with him? No, please don't. I'm gonna go mess with him. 
mess with them. No, Booger, don't. Mr. Guy, who the hell are you talking to? Are there voices in your head talking to you? <laughs> your Pokemon guy is clearly insane. He's not mentally stable and he's I know it. <laughs> Jonathan stalking his wife. I am mentally stable. Booger, get away from the judge. Stop trying to give him a wet willy. Mr. Guy, who the hell are you talking to? Are there voices in your head speaking to you? <laughs> wait, 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 Brooklyn guy? Yes, Your Honor, there is a very annoying ass voice who really needs to shut the hell up. Hey, Brooklyn guy, did you see what I did to that judge? I gave him a wet willy. Yeah, I saw it, Booger. Oh, did you like it? Was it funny? Shut the hell up. Oh, that's Hey, case dismissed. <laughs> Mr. Guy, you are clearly mentally unwell, so I will not be granting your restraining order. I will, however, be admitting you to a mental health facility immediately. <laughs> Damn! So if he has to go to a health uh, facility and shit, that means his brother gets the, you know... He gets to go over and uh, spit that game on Karen. <laughs> oh, <how facility? laughs> oh, you think I serve pizza there? My favorite's pepperoni. Shut the fuck up, Bogar. Oh, do you like pineapple on pizza? It tastes pretty decent. <laughs> Brooklyn guy looks stressed. Look Shut at his hair. <laughs> and now with Brooklyn guy gone, Karen will be all alone for me to try to bang her. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> trying to bang your brother's <laughs> wife is insane, bro. Oh, man, look, I just got back from KFC and look at all this. <laughs> look at Marvin <laughs> getting dripped out and <laughs> shit. Marvin living life. <laughs> thanks for my arm, Manny sunglasses. Sure thing, Donnie. Yeah, here, here go another 10 piece for tomorrow. Yeah. Here you go, mommy, you can have you a 10 piece too. No, I mean, so shit. Okay, oh, Jeffy, just throw, you, throw that bag around then. Go ahead. He's standing on business. And today we will be hearing the case of Tyrone and Judith. Oh, Judith wants a divorce from Tyrone <laughs> ah, because he has been cheating on her. <laughs> Judith, let's hear your side of the story. Well, Your Honor, Tyrone just keeps cheating on me over and over again with so many women. I just want to be done. <laughs> Tyrone, Tyrone even nodded his head. <laughs> Now listen, everybody owns more than one <laughs> pair of shoes. You don't just wear the same pair every day. That's me with pussy. I want the house and everything. <laughs> This is one thing that scares me about marriage, though, y'all. I mean, I mean, some of y'all might not even understand, but for those that do, marriage is, is, is I know it's happily ever after and all of these things. And but if things go south, men, the boy, you out of luck, my boy. She wants the house and everything. She might get that motherfucker nine times out of ten, especially her being white and you being black. If you in that kind of a situation, I'm just saying that's life. Jeff, what do you think? I think they take a chainsaw, you cut the house in half, and everything they own in half, so it's 50 50. Hmm, that's fair. I like it. I grant you both 50 50 of everything. Cut everything in half with a chainsaw. Isn't that like what, what they call a prenup or some shit? Well, I'll get a chainsaw. I'll hold it. <laughs> Babu, bap, bap, babu, babu, bap, bap, and babu. It's Amazon Bro, when have we ever seen Marvin this dripped out in SML? When? My boy is swagged out. He got the cheetah print. He got the motherfucking chain. Okay, Marvin. He got the. He got the. South African leopard ass. Okay, that sounded crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Out of Antarctic polar bear puss. It was shaved. It wasn't tortured. Okay. Well, I got another case. Polar bear is one of my favorite animals. I couldn't do it. So I gotta go try to save him. The kid? No. Oh, baby. Let's put it in the safe. I am the Honorable Judge Boomer, and today Jeff is going to fail this case, case now. Mr. Goodman, who is being accused of running over a child in his Lamborghini and driving away. The mother saw the Lamborghini hit him, so mother, tell us what happened. <laughs> My boy was driving with his chalk in the road, and this rich guy in a Lamborghini ran him over, and he didn't try to stop. Mr. Goodman, is this awful? This is murder. True, you didn't even try to stop. Well, Your Honor, I was getting roadhead from this ten out of ten bad. <laughs> I was in a fruit tree, so I wasn't even. Okay, okay, look, 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 look. Automatically, you're getting sentenced to life, especially with that first statement. Okay. So you were distracted <laughs> while driving and killed a little boy. Well, sounds like you're guilty. Unless your lawyer can get you out of this. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, you weren't 
fucking there. You didn't see what happened, and neither did I. The boy's mom could be lying. She probably wasn't even there. So how can you judge what happened if you weren't there? Hmm, that's true. I wasn't there. Everything could be a lie. Well, if a tree falls in the woods and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? Hmm, I suppose it doesn't. Mr. Goodman, <laughs> you are not guilty of vehicular manslaughter in Hit and Run. What? No! <laughs> that's so messed up. Damn. <laughs> God, I'm gonna sell Maybe Jeffy is a good lawyer after all. I will sleep on him before that episode started. This is me. Marvin gets free rent. He won my case. I got sucked off on the way here. I'm gonna get sucked off on the way home. Mr. Goodman, do they have any mouthwash? Get back in the car, Chinchilla. Okay. Chinchilla is crazy. for your house payment this month. It doesn't matter. Jeffy print money. He a money print machine. Well, buddy, I actually don't want to be a lawyer anymore. What do you mean, Jeffy? And then like it. What do you mean you don't like it? I don't like it. You don't like making cash green gua cash green guapo? I don't like it. Marvin, if Jeffy doesn't want to be a lawyer, he doesn't have to be a lawyer anymore. Hey, he at least made y'all enough bread to stack up. So y'all good. Marvin, we had enough. <sighs> babu, bap, bap, babu. <laughs> I'm surprised that the episode ended off with, uh, with Jeffy not losing any of the money and not having any crazy like shit happen with him being a lawyer like i'm very shocked by that and they still have the money and everything they paid up the house payment like this was a good ending to an sml video for once <laughs> before i get up out of here though if you guys would like to react or if you guys would like to see uh me react to some old sml content because i can't react to it on youtube because of copyright purposes the link for my snapchat will be in the description down below because that's where i'm going to be posting that content and also if you guys would like to follow me on my gaming channel I'll will greatly appreciate that i posted a video over there yesterday so i uh, thank you guys for the support and everything that you guys have been giving me love y'all and i'll see you guys in the next one baby we are out peace